क्लास वन सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर वन शेप्स एंड स्पेस गुड विशेष माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड गुड एट योर प्लेसेस डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी शेल स्टडी द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ फर्स्ट क्लास द टॉपिक ऑफ विच इज शेप्स एंड स्पेस Children, what all do you require to play cricket? A ball, a bat, and wickets. Very good. Correct. A ball, a bat, and wickets. All these things are used to play cricket. And all these things, you see, they look different from each other in shapes. Means these are the things of different categories. similarly children when you sit to study all the things that you use like a pencil a book or a rubber all these also have different shapes like some are square and some are round now you tell when you play cricket where do you play it playground very good you play cricket in a playground Playground means the place to play games like cricket. Similarly, the places where you study is your class or your home. You go in and out of your home. You place the thing placed on the table or above or under it. Some of your friends' houses are either near or far from your house. So children just now we talked of different places in our sentences like in and out on and under near or far So why not I tell you an interesting story This is the story of an Arab and his camel The title of the story is an Arab and his camel These were winter days One Arab was crossing through the desert over his camel. As the night arrived, the Arab fixed his tent and went inside to sleep. The camel was outside the tent and it started feeling cold. So it asked the Arab, "It is very cold outside." May I put my neck inside the tent? The Arab, giving him permission, replied, "Okay, you can keep your neck inside the tent." But it was so much cold that he was even now feeling cold. So the camel again asked the Arab, "It is very cold outside." May I put my legs inside the tent? After hearing this, the Arab again felt pity on the camel and he replied giving permission like this. Okay, you can put two of your front legs inside the tent. But children, as the night was getting colder and colder, the camel was still feeling cold. He again asked the Arab, "Should I come in?" The Arab immediately replied, "No, no. This tent is not enough spacious for both of us. No, it is small for both of us. No." The camel then commanded the Arab, "Then you get out of the tent because I am getting inside the tent." As soon as it said this the camel came inside the tent and due to shortage of space the arab had to spend the rest of the cold night outside the tent in this way the camel spent the rest of the night inside the tent and because of lack of space the arab had to spend the night outside the tent i hope you all like this story So dear children did you enjoy this wonderful story I hope you did 
children think why couldn't the arab and the camel both fit into the tent yes because there was no space like that the tent could hold only one of them either the arab could easily sleep in the tent or the camel could fix in to the tent as the camel came inside and slept there there was no space left for the arab to rest inside the tent so i hope now you know that space is really important we should fix the things into the space provided appropriately it is not possible for us to fix up big things into small spaces it will be very congested and in fact many things won't fix up like that so space is clear to you and the shape of the tent was also not supporting both the individuals the arab and the camel into one tent so i hope you got the lesson pretty well okay dear children now look at these two pictures and tick the bigger one what do you see a big rhinoceros and a small puppy yes a big rhinoceros and a cute small puppy so can you tick the bigger animal good rhinoceros is bigger than the little puppy so let's put a tick mark over rhinoceros picture so now you look at these two pictures what do you see leaves correct correct well done okay so now you tell which of these two green leaves is bigger than the other look carefully this wow yes you did a great job yes this one is bigger than the other leaf so let's put a tick mark over the bigger one hey see what a cute little squirrel yay look at its small size yes my dear it is very small now look at this animal can you tell me what it is cow correct correct it is a cow is this cow bigger or smaller than this squirrel hmm tell ma'am cow is bigger yes my dear the cow is bigger than the squirrel let's put a tick over the picture of the cow now oh look here two boys are playing with tires so whose tire is bigger ma'am the boy in the yellow t-shirt has the biggest tire yes my dear the boy in the yellow t-shirt has a bigger tire okay now look at these pictures what do you see trees ma'am yes dear children these are trees look carefully so which is the smallest tree among these three the first one the middle one or the last one which is the smallest tree look carefully the first one ma'am the first one is the smallest very good very good well done the first one is the smallest tree now look at these three pictures of animals see here we have a dog and a tiny kitten and a big elephant see can you see these three pictures okay now your task is to tell me which is the biggest of all three animals here in the picture the first one the middle one or the last one the last one 
elephant very good yes elephant is the biggest of all three animals in this picture so let's put a tick mark here on the elephant great job okay now look here you have to take the smallest of the fruits which fruits can you see mango cherry watermelon very good here in the picture is a mango and a cherry and a watermelon very right so which is the smallest fruit among these three fruits think cherry yes 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 you're right cherry cherry is the smallest fruit here okay now look here what is this little boy doing he's making bubbles ma'am yes very right my dear child this boy is making bubbles can you see the bubbles yes ma'am good so can you tell me which is the biggest bubble this one yes very good very good excellent job this is the biggest bubble of all the bubbles here in the picture okay children let's go to the park now see how many children are playing in the park 1 2 3 three children and what else do you see in the picture a bird and a cat yes a bird and a cat is there and where is the bird on the on the tree yes on the tree very well done good okay children now let me tell you one thing see the child on the top of the slide can you see and look the one at the end of the slide he has come from the top to the bottom yes he is at the bottom of the slide notice this child who is again at the bottom because he is trying to get to the top you see he is towards the ladder of the slide because he wants to climb and reach the top okay children let's see the bird the bird on the tree is on the top of the tree it is sitting on the top of the tree and notice this cat this cat is sitting at the bottom of the tree am i clear just see the cat is at the bottom of the tree the bird is at the top of the tree one child is on the top of the slide and two children are at the bottom of the slide on each side so am i clear about top and bottom let's check just tell me look at this picture and tell me which of these three pots is on the top so just tell me which of these three pots is on the top this one okay dear children very good so so this is the pot on the top okay now now just look at this picture what can you see a kitten and a puppy yes dear children there is a kitten and a puppy why is the kitten happy hmm happy and dancing hmm yes the kitten has come to the top very right and who is not able to climb the stairs and is still at the bottom puppy puppy ma'am very good very good so who is at the bottom you have to tick mark the animal at the bottom puppy yes so mark a tick over the puppy okay ma'am now look at this picture dear children okay children what do you see in the picture a hut 
two threes and two birds. Very good, dear children. So now think, which bird is nearer to the hut? Is it the pink bird or is it the orange bird? Think. Pink. Yes, you're right. The pink bird is nearer to the house. And which is the farther bird? Yellow. Orange. Yes, yes. It's the orange bird. Not the yellow one. There is no yellow bird here. See? This is orange. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Okay. So, now you know which bird is nearer to the house? Yes. The pink bird is nearer to the house. Okay, now see here. You have to take the cat which is farther from the tree. Look. That cat is far away. Very good dear child. That cat is far away. So it is farther from the tree. Tick mark. This cat is nearer to the tree. And that cat is farther from the tree so dear children now you see farthest from the swing so now children look at this picture amazing all the children here are running to have fun on the swing so who will reach the swing first just think Obviously, the one who is nearest to the swing. So, can you tell me who is nearest to the swing? Among these three children, the two girls and the boy. Who is going to reach the swing at the earliest? Means, who is nearest to the swing? The boy. Yes, the boy. The boy is nearest to the swing. And who is farthest from the swing? The girl in pink dress. Very good. Now look at this picture. What do you see? Tick the children on the table and cross the children under the table. Can you see so many children? Some children are on the table. So you have to tick mark the children on the table and you have to put a cross mark on the children under the table. So who's under the table? That boy is under the table ma'am. Yes, correct. That boy is under the table. So you have to put a cross on him and all others are sitting on the desk. So can you see some child or some children on the table? Yes, ma'am. There are two students sitting on the table. Very right. Two children are sitting on the table. Let's put a tick mark on the children who are sitting on the table. Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Well done! Now you have to put all the boxes type of things from these things into this pink box and all the ball like spherical shapes into this yellow box. So this is your time. Start! I count and you go on doing it. Tick tick one, tick tick two, tick tick three, tick tick four, tick tick five, tick tick six, tick tick seven, tick tick eight, tick tick nine. Done, done, done. Stop, 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 stop. So, how many things have you put in the pink box? Yes, very good. All these boxes. Are good. You have done a wonderful job. And how many spherical things are here in your box, in the yellow box? Show me. Oh, good. So, an orange ball, tomato, balloon. Very good. You have a lot of things. 
Now match the similar shapes by drawing a line like I have done for you. This dice is like this box. So I have drawn this line. Now you tell me how does this tomato look like? Oh yes, it looks like the balloon. So just match it. And what does this Costco ball look like? Yes, it is as spherical as this football. So match them. And what about this chalk box? Yes, match it with this box. Very well done. Good. So now my dear children, I have a surprise for you. Yes, it's your story time. Once there was a lamb going to see his grandmother. On the way through the jungle, he met a wolf. I am going to eat you. Please let me go. I'm going to meet my grandmother. You can eat me when I return. Okay, you may go. When he was about to return, he told the grandmother about the wolf. The grandmother gave him an idea. Go and hide yourself in a dholak. He did so. The grandmother rolled the dholak on the road. The lamb saw the wolf waiting for him. Did you see a lamb crossing this way? No. The wolf grew suspicious and started running behind the dholak. Before the wolf could catch him, the lamb reached home and was thankful to his grandmother. So, how did you like the story? I enjoyed it. Good one. Wow, I enjoyed it too. Good, my dear children. So, now note down your homework. Look at this picture. I have made this picture using shapes only. So your homework is that you also have to draw any figure using these shapes. And after that, you have to color it. I hope you are going to enjoy your homework. Use shapes and draw drawing and color it. Very good. I had so much fun with you all. So did you also have good fun? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So now it's time to say bye-bye.